Howdy folks, a very warm welcome to you, I hope you're well. My name is Nick on the ZX Spectrum 48K. I'm looking at a submarine game, this submarine that's under the water. This game is called Periscope Up, published by Atlantis Software in 1989. It's just like a, an obstacle sort of game, horizontal scrolling, uh, which came out also on the Amstrad CPC, the Commodore 64 and various 8-bit Atari computers. Now you're in the VAX 3000, that's a submarine, uh, I think, and you must, um, or maybe it's a super computer. Anyway, we'll do it on keyboard. I'll explain it as I'm going along my old uh, stupid fashion. But here's a yellow submarine, like the Beatles sang about. We need to um, stop our malfunctioning nuclear missile uh, base thing from firing missiles all around the world. It's British's vast, Britain's vast uh, submarine system. Now we've got this scout ship we can do. Um, we need to get six digits. There's the first one. Uh, certain digits unlock certain doors. Um, our air's gradually running out, and so is our fuel. So take your yellow submarine, go through all these barriers, don't crash into the sides. Uh, the mirror's touching you, it explodes, so let's not do that. Uh, collect fuel as you go along. So you get the idea? Do you get the idea? Maybe. So you've got to shut this malfunctioning nuclear power station down before it fires nuclear missiles everywhere and blows up the world. Uh, it moves a bit slippery, this game. It's not very precise. Uh, if you had it back in the day, let me know. Uh, looks a bit duff for 1989, but anyway, it's got a submarine in it. Hooray! Put your favourite submarine game below, Spectrum or otherwise, as I crash into brickwork. Oh my god. Has, um, has Great Britain got a, a nuclear missile base? I'm not sure that we have. Maybe it's got a water pistol in there somewhere or other. Right, the Vax 3000. So doors are open and closed. It's well guarded this place. The whole background is blue because it's, well, it's a submarine. So I suppose we're going through different caverns, I suppose, like an open sewer system. But whoever created this sewer system was a nincompoop madman. If you are a nincompoop madman, then comment below. Now these games, these reviews, aren't about expert gameplay. You should know this by now. Uh, you don't know it. Oh, well, perhaps you're new. But anyway, it's not expert gameplay. We're stress busting and we're seeing how you would have gotten the game your first or second go. And this is quite reflective of that. So I'm getting a bit of a distance, I think. Not quite sure how long this is. It's not a great deal of time. This gateway is closed. So I think we need to get a uh, number two, the digit two there, to unlock that. So where is number two? So there's a lot of going forward and going back again. There's number four up there. Let's collect that with my little scout ship. If the scout ship crashes into the side, you're dead, so you've got to be very careful. And if the submarine crashes into the side, you're dead as well. Why couldn't the um, the top brass have just turned off the security features and we just gone in the submarine that way? Or made some rear entrance so we could go up a ladder to the place? Anyway, I do not know. C4, that's open now because we collected the number 4. There's a bit of fuel there, maybe we can get that. Always give yourself enough room for your scout ship to escape, otherwise it'll just... What does that question mark do? Don't know. We'll find out. Not obvious what that did. So, at the top there, you can see we've got the number 6. So that is the code, one of the codes for opening the... Uh, well, stopping the missile base from blowing up the world. If you are living in the future and a missile base has blown up the world, then comment in the comment section below. Was it because of this yellow submarine didn't get there? I prefer a cyan submarine, really. We all live in a cyan submarine. Du -du -du -du, cyan submarine. Du -du -du -du, I'm in a death loop. Oh, I've got a death loop there singing the cyan submarine song. So periscope up. Look at that font. It's made with little blocks. I'll have another go, see uh, if I complete the game, but I doubt I will. If you have completed it, then let me know in the good old comment section below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you, people have subscribed, I love you. And people just about to subscribe, I love you as well. Um, but it helps the channel grow. It's the only way. It's the only way, really. A lot of videos go up. Uh, if you want to know when they go up, click on the notification bell on... Um, uh, below if you're if you're uh, subscribed in or you could follow me on Twitter Jenkins7Nick and links go up the same day but who knows what's going on with Twitter nowadays uh, is, it, is it still existing look that made lot, making a lot of silly mistakes here uh, the merest of touches with your submarine to the side and it will explode note to self never get never get in a submarine that was a quick go converted by Roo one of his first name was Kanga only he or she could know that Kangaroo that'd be a good name Right, now, we aim the views to be about 10 minutes long. Uh, just having a bit of fun here. If you're having a bit of a binge watch and watching these one by one by one by one, did you start from the beginning? If you just got here, 
Well, it just continues and continues and continues. We're never going to run out of games to review. A lot of people may never have heard of this one. It's Periscope, 1989. Might have been dealing with eight or oh, 16-bit computers by this point. They were just about com coming in, weren't they? The Commodore Amiga, Atari ST, Mega Drive, all those. So it was like a handing over one era to another. And it was as a, as a time there was massive differences between 8-bit and 16-bit and um, massive steps going forward. Now the steps are a little bit smaller. Uh, there's a small step between the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, but not a great deal, not as an expanse you would have between 8-bit and 16-bit. Um, the next big step at the time recording is probably going to be virtual reality where there's no such thing as a console and you're just wearing that contraption the whole time on your head and, someone, and then you forget you're wearing it. Right, that's a dangerous, dangerous way to go, isn't it? So fuel's not looking too bad, air's not looking too bad. So fuel is the main, main thing. But it's a, it's, a, it's a nice idea, this game. I wish the controls were a little less slippery than they are, but that uh, perhaps if they weren't so slippery, it'd make the game too easy, maybe. Perhaps that's it. You didn't want it to spin on a dime. Uh, nice scrolling there. Um, you know, it keeps the summary roughly, well, slightly left center, is it, of the screen. But, um, you know, scrolls along. Uh, interesting idea with the scout though when you go into narrow areas can't get those numbers with the submarine I don't think you have to get the scouts out there. Oh man, I forgot about that Got kabiffed at the last moment and kabiffed again. See it's quite easy to get stuck in a death spiral It regenerates you at the wrong place. See look at that. And that's me. Is that me gone? Well, I haven't been playing it a great great length of time. Maybe one last go by Carl Fitzhugh 1989 I suppose it was made in a back bedroom this and submitted to Atlantis Software. I might be wrong, rather than Atlantis Software having a crew of people. And the, the boss case, he went in and said, look, if any of you have made a game today, yes, I've made one with a submarine. All right, we'll publish that today. Well done. So lives in the top left. Uh, the code, if you get any of the numbers, in that black box next to it. Um, but yes, so it's trial and error. Well, there's only one way to go, isn't there, really? So go get a bit further each time. I think once you completed the game, it'd be easy to complete it every single time you played. So some people with retro memories um, gained as a kid might be able to steam through this in next to no time. I'm sure there will be walkthroughs on the YouTube with this game. But uh, this isn't a walkthrough channel, really. This is a muck about stress bus channel where you can write pretty much anything you want um, as long as it isn't rude in the comment section below. Because this is a PG channel as well. Uh, it's it's ch child friendly. So if you want to watch it with your kids, don't know why your kids would want to watch this, but if you want to watch it with your kids, that's safe to do so. Yay. What's the, uh, what's the modern day equivalent of this game? Probably there isn't one. Would it work as an app on a phone? Maybe. Will Nintendo Switch buy by the rights to it? Unlikely, but anyway. But it's it's a diff it's a different era, really, isn't it? It's a game of skill. This sometimes they're quite frustrating. These games. This one is a little bit frustrating. I would like I would like a choice of colours of the submarine, maybe. But a nice name, Periscope Up. Could have done with an exclamation mark, I think, after the up, but never mind. I know like I said last time it was my last go, but I was so poor at it. Let's make this one my last go, because I'll probably be poor again. My, my best go was the first one, really, when I was concentrating the most. So for a newbie, it's easy to get into. It's quite obvious what you need to do, and it's just a case of actually doing it. You're not going to go through reams of instructions. It's just left, right, up and down, and fire button to release the scout. It's not a bad little game. I would have played it a little bit every now and again in a run of stuff. It's not one to be spent many hours on continuously, but I suppose some kids might have done if they try and, especially if you get near the end. Those games you get near the end, you think, oh, I might as well spend a bit more time in it getting the last bits. I think there might be about six numbers to uh, collect. I might be uh, wrong there. Occasional question mark. Hmm. So I need to get the number, wherever that is there, to open that number one. Where's number one? Number one. Oh, that was a bit tight, wasn't it? A bit close. Right. Ooh, round we go. Right, no one float, no one uh, does a sub like this. There's no fish in here like you get with scuba dive. Uh, scuba dive is a classic by Jarrell Software. That's some, that's some mighty fish there. Clock, can't get any closer to that wall if I tried, did it? I almost, almost hearing a scrape sound. Right, it's number three that opens something or other. Yeah, so uh, you know, I, I, it, this is is very reflective of what my first go would have been. I would have got a certain distance and then probably would have stayed there for months doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, and then would have got a breakthrough uh, initially. I mean, I don't like the way it regenerates uh, there where the, the ship comes down because you could easily get caught in a death spiral. A death spiral is when you regenerate an area where there's a nasty there already and you die straight away. Just boop, 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 end of go. 
Right. So, up we go. Can we go round that? Let's go round the thing. I think that's just a number three down here, isn't it, from memory? No, number four, right. Now, I ain't got enough room to release the scout ship, so I'll have to go here, bring that round. Looks like a big mushroom. Right, number four. So, the number four gateway is open somewhere. Let's go through this generation place. Now, this is the first of the tricky bits, I think. Can I... What's the timing here? Is this the timing? This is the timing. Go! I'm through. Through number four. Right, this is as far as I got. This is as far as I've got, isn't it? Can't remember. Right, it's a bit of fuel. Fuel's up the top. A question mark there. Air's still looking not too bad. Now, that bit up the top there looks pretty evil. That looks very evil to get through there. Well, wish me luck, people. This could well be the end of the review. This looks tough. Number two, it says in the code. Is that... Oh, look at that. It just caught me by the mirror of pixels, and it's game over, big nose. Can I get through here? Come on. Oh, it pulls with the scrolling. Right, okay, now. Number... What number's that? Number five. That looks horrendous up there. That's where the number two is. It's getting a bit... Oh, look at that. It's getting gradually tighter and tighter. Well, it was making a bit more progress there. It's not a bad little game, actually. Bit of a puzzler there. I do want to go back and complete it, oddly enough. But anyway, we didn't stop the nuclear... Um, shut down the nuclear base. So I suppose the world has blown up. Well, tough, tough luck. There's plenty of other planets available. Saturn and stuff. So, hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Periscope Up on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Atlantis Software in 1989. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then by all means, put that in the comment section below. You're always more than welcome, and I love seeing them there. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. It's a submarine, so I suppose we're going through different caverns, I suppose, like an open sewer system. But whoever created this sewer system was a nincompoop madman. If you are a nincompoop madman, then comment below.